I was sitting on the stage when he made that speech. What he said, I'm committed. I don't fear any man. You can't operate out of fear of what life offers. You have to go out there and accept the challenge. It doesn't come without heartache at times. And I've had my share of it. Truly, a lot of people did die in order for us to have the things that we have. It is said Dr. King called down with his last words to play his favorite hymn, Precious Lord, Take My Hand, at the service that evening. On the night that Dr. King Jr. was assassinated, what was going on in your world? Well, I was in the Claridge Hotel with nine city council persons developing a resolution to give the sanitation workers all of the things that they were asking for and the same thing that Martin Luther King came to Memphis to accomplish. Dr. Nutters and me leading the group had been pushing to settle a strike. And we were there to pass that resolution and had passed it 30 minutes before Martin was shot. We had the votes committed. I went hysteria, I said, they've killed my man, he's dead. It, it, you wanna see a bunch of grown men crying, yeah. So the tragedy is, what Martin came to Memphis to accomplish was actually passed 30 minutes before, but was rescinded because two of the council persons would not support it. They backed down. And that's because they heard the news that Dr. Uh, King news was, was killed. right here. Yes. The strike was resolved, and not till recently did the living sanitation workers receive a grant and a retirement plan. In fact, we have one gentleman who is still working on a truck. Really? And, and yes, and so Amazing. he says now he just might retire. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. Nothing could have been accomplished had it not been for the collective efforts of many people of different hue, religion, that were on the side of right. You got on that bus, you <laughs> helped with the sanitation movement, you did yeah. a lot, you have a lot of courage like he did. How do you feel about this picture now when you look at it? I feel fortunate because this person is not with us anymore. This person is not with us anymore. That person is not with us anymore. That person is not with us anymore. So I feel very fortunate. <laughs> and you're here, you're here. You're here to spread the message, right? I'm still here, so. <laughs> What's your secret? <laughs> God's blessing me. God's blessing. And he's got a mission for me. Precious Lord, take my And we can't let Dr. Martin Luther King die. His dream must continue to live. And as long as I live, his dream will live. If your theology says that all people are created equal, then that means all. And to bring about a society where all men will live together as brothers and every man will respect the dignity and worth of human personality. So not many. Seven persons integrated the buses in Memphis. In tiny rooms. You are all treated equally in this little room. And old theaters. Come on in and let's use those gifts and talents. Took a view from the soul. All people are created equal. And what came out of it was extraordinary. It's a melting pot of something beautiful. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. I'm tapping in.